Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we'll explore how to monitor Apache Kafka using monitoring tools like Prometheus and Grafana with JMX Explorer, which is used to get metrics from Apache Kafka and which will provide insights into Apache Kafka's performance and health metrics. So there are some prerequisites you need to follow for this tutorial. So first you need to have a Ubuntu instance, EC2 instance of version 24.04 LTS, which is the latest version of Ubuntu. And the instance type should be t2.medium. And you need to install Apache Kafka Pro Matthews as well as Grafana should be installed on your system. And the firewall port should be activated for the Pro Matthews. 9090 for the Grafana, which is 3000. So 2181 is for Zookeeper. And finally, the 9091 is for Apache Kafka. So this firewall port should be active. And you also need to install the default JDK. Next, uh, we will learn about what is Apache Kafka, what is Prometheus, what is Grafana, what is JMX Exporter. Then we will perform practical we will monitor Apache Kafka using Prometheus and Grafana, which uh, includes steps like setting up JMX exporter, configuring the JMX exporter for, for Kafka, and then we will add the Kafka input in Prometheus so it can get the metrics, and with the help of Prometheus, we can monitor them. Then we will update the Kafka systemic unit file, then we will Check the status of the Kafka and Prometheus service. Then you need to, then we will integrate or monitor metrics in Prometheus as well as in Grafa. And then finally, we'll be conclude. So let's start. So, what is Apache Kafka? So, Apache Kafka is a distributed streaming platform used for building real time data pipelines and streaming applications. It's like a highly efficient and scalable messaging system that can handle large volumes of data in real time. Now, what is Prometheus? So, Prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting toolkit designed for reliability and scalability in modern dynamic environment, which is developed by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So, Prometheus excels at collecting and storing time series data, allowing users to gain valuable insights into performance and health of their application and infrastructure. So with its powerful query language and support for multi-dimensional data, Prometheus has become a popular choice for monitoring system within cloud native ecosystem. Now let's understand about what is Grafana. So Grafana is an open source tool for performing data analytics, retrieving metrics that make sense of large amounts of data and monitoring our apps using configurable dashboard. Grafana integrates with a wide range of data sources, including Graphite, Prometheus, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and others. So when connected to the supported data sources, it provides web-based charts, graphs, and alerts. Now what is JMX Exporter? So the JMX Exporter is a Java agent that exposes Java management extension metrics as Prometheus metrics. So it allows monitoring of Java application by converting JMX data into a format that can be scraped by Prometheus, enabling visualization and alerting through Grafana dashboard. Now, uh, as I have told you about the prerequisites that Apache, Kafka, Prometheus, and Grafana should be installed. So you can simply visit our uh, site, which is posttechnics.com where you can find the code and command. And in the prerequisites, if you click on the prerequisites and if you click on the URL, it will give the installation article of Prometheus and Grafana. You can all also click on Apache Kafka, which will take you to the installation of Apache Kafka. Now, now let's start with the practical. So the steps for monitoring Apache Kafka and using Prometheus and Grafana. So first step is to set up JMX Explorer on our Kafka server. 
so you can download the jmx exporter jar file from the official github repository so if you click on this it will take you the repository and you can also copy the link address and download it and you can also refer our article to download this jmx exporter so simply just copy this so this is my backstorm tool i have connected my instance with my backstorm tool so simply copy and paste here so if you do ls so here you can find all the installation of raw matthews and here you can find the jmx exporter which we have installed currently so now next step is to always uh, move your jar file to the kafka's lab directory where all the jar files are located so simply copy this command so it will move the jar file to the opt where uh, my kafka is stored now next step is to configure kafka to use jmx photo so we need to add the following option in the kafka startup script so the startup script is stored in the kafka where and my kafka is stored in the opt directory so now simply copy this command and paste here so it will open an editor where we can edit the kafka server start dot assets and you need to add your jmx exporter so here you can find uh, so just add this line at the end so just So first, uh, I have added the path where my jar file is stored. So it is stored in the opt Kafka lib directory, and and also add this to our Kafka server start .sh file. So basically, the Kafka ops environment variable is used to pass the Java runtime option to the Kafka. So basically, in our configuration, the Java agent where our Java agent is located, and so this part will specify that we are using Java agent to instrument the Kafka process with the JMX exporter agent, and the file is located in the opt kafka library directory and which is uh, the port of kafka which will specify the http server port where the jmx exporter will expose the metric so in this case it is set to port 9091 and here you can find the etc pro methods where my pro methods configuration file is stored in the etc directory so this part we specify the configuration for our, for our JMX exporter. And below, so depending on our setup, we are using the promethods.tml file, so which is located at the etc directory, and as well as we are using another file or JMX exporter. So basically, in promethods.tml file, our configuration we consider the Kafka and in sample JMX exporter.tml file will consider the metrics which we are going to configure. So this configuration file defines the Kafka metrics to scrape and how to export them for Prometheus and Monterey. So now we will save this. Now, a next step is to configure the JMX exporter for Kafka. 
so before that we will reload our system so simply copy this command and we will restart the kafka service so we have successfully restart the kafka service now uh, configuring the jmx export for apache kafka which involves specifying reject pattern to name and filter the metric for prometheus so the prometheus provides sample configuration for this purpose in the github repository so this will make up the setup process more straightforward. So basically, as I have told you, that sample JMX exporter.yml file will, con will consist of the sample configuration. So we will learn this. So you can simply click on the link here and it will take you to the sample configuration. So by default, if we mention our configuration, the apache kafka in the prometheus.yml file it will not give the required metrics so we need to customize our file and add this metrics as these are the important metrics to monitor so simply you can use this kafka yml configuration file to monitor the other metrics or you can also customize this file so simply we will create this configuration file in the opt kafka config directory so simply copy this and now simply we will name that file as sample jmx exporter.yml file and simply copy this so basically it will open the editor and copy the duplicate contents you can also refer to the github repository of jmx export and copy this so paste here So let's learn about this configuration file. So first, here you can find the lower case output name is set to true. So this setting ensures that all metric names generated by JMX exporter are converted to lower case. So which will maintain consistency and compatibility with Prometheus naming convention. And here you can find, so there are some special cases and very specific rules. So this rules handle specific cases within the Kafka metrics, such as the server metrics with dynamic attributes like the client ID, the topic, partition, and broker host, as well as the broker port. So let's understand this pattern so for example as kafka server where type is type name and client id and topic is this plus one so with the help of this uh it will value the extract server matrix with labels for client id topic and partition and the type is coach where uh, these rules cover generic metrics that are collected per second and formatted as counters or gauges so here you can find the counter as well as gauge. so these are the basically prometheus metric type so with the help of this pattern you can identify that which other metrics like quota metrics where uh, rules are defined to extract kafka server quota metrics based on resource uses such as uh, client IDs and users, as well as the histo histogram matrix. So these rules we emulate Prometheus summary matrix for exported histograms capturing counts and percentiles of operations like latency and process timing. So here is the example of 
histogram matrix. So these are the matrix which we are going to monitor. So let's save this file by simply type entering control plus x plus y and enter. Now, as we have done with the second step, now let's add Kafka endpoint in our Prometheus. So simply go to the Prometheus.tml file where our configuration is saved, which is our default configuration of Prometheus. So here you can find the default configuration is of uh, Prometheus. Now we will add another job name. So make sure you don't have an indentation error. So simply copy this and paste it in the terminal. Now, here you can find uh, the JMX Exporter endpoint for Kafka matrix. So your local host and the port for Kafka is 9091 and the port for Prometheus is 9090. So which will scrape the metric. Now simply save this configuration by control plus X, shift plus Y and enter. Now our next step is to reload and restart the Prometheus. Now let's take the next step. So next step is to update the Kafka system at unit five. So the updated part of the system at service file for Apache Kafka, which will include the environment variables for Java Home and Kafka, which will ensure proper Java and Kafka configuration for smooth operation and monitoring integration with JMX Exporter Prometheus as well as for Grafa. So I have created Kafka.service and now we will going to edit. So simply copy this command and just add here below. So just add the bold the bold part and just paste here. Now save this. Now we are going to restart the Kafka service. Make sure if you update your system at Kafka system at files, so make sure you reload the system and restart the service. Now we are let's take the status of Kafka and Prometheus service. Let's check if there is any error or not. So here you can find. So we will again restart the Prometheus. And again check the status. So here you can write it is failed. So just restart your Prometheus service and here you can find, I have again enter the pseudo system CTL status of the Prometheus and here you can find it has been actively running. Now we will check the status for our Kafka service. So here you can find our Kafka has also been actively running. Now after checking the status, let's integrate or monitor Kafka matrix in Prometheus. So just copy our IP address and enter the port of the Prometheus as well as for the Grafana. So here you can find that I have copied my instance IP and paste here in the URL with the associated port number for Prometheus as well as for the Grafana. So in the Prometheus, let's check 
the targets so here you can find both the status as well as of the pro matthews and kafka has been now let's take the matrix So here you can find the matrix has also been loaded. Now, as we can find our pro Matthews has been working successfully. Now let's create a dashboard on a Grafana. So simply type here admin and also here and click on login and simply click on skip now let's add our first data source so click on this data source and select pro matthews the data source has been added successfully and here just copy your pro matthews server url and paste here and then keep other setting as it is and now let's save and test so click on save and test here you can find we have successfully created the pro matthews api now click on explore view Now uh, let's take one metric called as Kafka controller, Kafka controller active broker account. So Kafka controller, let's go down. So here you can find active broker count now select your job name and select your value as kafka so now simply run the query here and here you can find the result which is one here you can also select as bar graph point etc so basically this Kafka controller, Kafka controller active broker represents the number of active broker managed by the Kafka controller. So it indicates the current count of brokers that are actively participating in the Kafka cluster, providing insight into the cluster health and ability. So you can also add the, to the dashboard. If you select this, So if you select your gauge, so it will give you the one. So basically it will indicate the current count of broker and it is one. So we have successfully monitored the Apache Kafka using monitoring tools like Pro Matthews and Grafa. So you can refer this article, which is available on posttechnic.com. You can also so you can also use the GitHub repository for installation as well as a article. So let's conclude for today. So in conclusion, setting up monitoring for Apache Kafka using Prometheus and Grafana on Ubuntu provides valuable insight into Kafka's performance allowing proactive management and optimization of Kafka cluster. So with metrics visualization and alerting capabilities, administration can ensure the reliability and efficiency of Kafka-based data pipelines, enhancing overall system reliability and operational effectiveness. So in next session, we will learn about sub key metrics of Prometheus, sorry, of Apache. 
so thank you for watching this video and please make sure you subscribe our channel and like and share the video so thank you see you in see you in the next video